Hello, dear ones, Father Peter John, coming to you from the bunker in Bloomington, Indiana. Christ is in our midst. I want to talk today about a saint that is of particular importance on Veterans Day. His feast actually happens to be today, falls on Veterans Day this year. He himself was a veteran of the Roman army from the late 3rd century. His name is Manus the Wonder Worker. And we will actually talk in a moment about how he goes on to help our own veterans during World War II. True story. You're going to love this. But St. Manos, first we'll talk about him. He was um, a soldier, great of valor. He was highly respected for his courage and his skill in the army. But ultimately, he uh, found his Christian calling to be greater than his calling as a soldier. And so he retired from the, ar from the military, the Roman military, and he went off and he lived for a time in the wilderness, in the desert. He went out and prayed and fasted and lived as an ascetic uh, for a time. But then it happened that he came back after a time to the same city from whence he had retired from the military, and there was a pagan festival going on. He walked into the midst of the city and began to proclaim his faith in Christ, which led to his martyrdom. Fast forward now to June 1942 on the African continent. It's actually the North Africa campaign that's happening at this point. The German military is marching toward Alexandria. Hitler's German army had not suffered yet a defeat by the Allied forces. But the Allies knew that even though they were outnumbered and outmatched, in this place called El Alemein, they had to stand their ground and slow the Germans down. So the first night of the campaign between Hitler's German army and the Allied forces, taking place at this place called El Alemein, which by the way means the place of Menas. Hold on to that for a minute. The first night the fighting is going on and it's not looking good for the Allied forces. But at about midnight, something strange and wonderful happens. There's a man dressed in Roman military attire, riding a camel, leading an army of camels from the ruins of the Church of St. Manus the Wonder Worker, which, by the way, we are told is probably where his relics are, nearby, right? From the Church of St. Manus the Wonder Worker, here comes this man in Roman military garb, leading an army of camels straight into the center of Hitler's German army encampment at midnight. The Germans are freaked out. They don't know what to do. They don't know what's going on. They're totally disoriented. Who is this man? Why is he wearing that? Where did all these camels coming from? And by the way, how did he get in here? So they're completely thrown off guard, which gives the Allies the upper hand. And the Allies begin to gain ground and ultimately are victorious in this battle. Winston Churchill says, before El Alemein, we never had a victory. After El Alemein, we never had a defeat. It's awesome. Even the Egyptian Gazette reported on the miracle of St. Menas in the victory of the Allied forces at El Alemein. So on this Veterans Day, it seems totally awesome and appropriate to talk about Saint Menas the Wonder Worker, who helped our veterans from World War II and saved God knows how many lives by his intervention and helping with this turning point in the war. I'm going to show you an icon from Mount Athos so that you can see this depiction here, you see the angels here, you see the camels, there is St. Manus the Wonder Worker, and then you see the Allied forces marching on to victory, led by St. Manus the Wonder Worker. All of this talk about Africa is actually making me thirsty because you know, Ethiopia is in Africa, and Ethiopia is where coffee was discovered. So. I think I'm going to go ahead and pour myself a nice hot cup of joe out here in the freezing cold bunker. I wish everybody a blessed 
and joyous Veterans Day. Christ is in our midst. He is and ever shall be.